Welcome back to the Dallas Stars BAGM mode here on the Sports by Schmucks channel. Uh, we just finished the free agency period and re signed so we're getting into the end of the offseason. We're trying to get some. There's one move I want to make. I kind of did this, tested some stuff out before, um, just to see what would happen. And so I went to trade players, or I went to the trade block and I found uh, Dougie Hamilton. Um, he's, uh, <laughs> excuse me. He is, there he is, 22, 86, uh, 22 years old, four and a half yellow stars, 86 overall. He's just been signed long term, four years, 4.74, so he should, get, I got tons of cap room for him. And based on the people I signed, since I signed, um, well, I have Patrick Kane, he bumps Nachuskin down, but since I also signed Haglin, my top, he's going to be my top uh, my, my second line right winger instead. So I don't really have any room right now for Nachuskin. So I'm going to use his trade value and get a solid defenseman. Uh, and I'm using uh, Dylan. He's 24. He's 81. Uh, three and a half green stars. So already a lot better is Dougie Hamilton. So that's why I'm going for him. And goalies, I'm trading Nilstrop for whatever reason they want him. He's salary. Actually, I'm going to try not to put him in. See what happens. Um, I was, uh, let's see it first, see if I can do that. Uh, will it go through? It did. All right. So there you go. Dougie Hamilton, uh, a great young and great now defenseman. So I should be good for the future. Um, so let's see if I can do the, uh, roster moves. Not yet. Okay. Uh, we'll get out of the resign phase. I don't think there's anybody else that I need slash want. So we'll get out of here. And hopefully with this team, I'll be able to make the playoffs, which would be absolutely fantastic for the first time uh, as my team. Um, you know, it just said Ryan Miller is on the trade block. So that would be interesting. Um, see if there's anybody that elite, that stays in free agency. Um, maybe I can grab... Uh, no, it looks like they're all going to be RFA still, so. Let's just see what happens uh, this coming season. So, like I said, um, with this new offense, uh, with this new top line, I'm expecting a lot from the top line of Sagan, um, Van Riemsdyk, and Patty Kane. So, hopefully, uh, they'll be able to step up and uh, tear some opponents. Now, I know... One of the things that we have to worry about right now is goaltending. And I'm really relying on Jared Allen um, developing. So that's that's one of the things I need that I'm hoping is going to happen um, with this team going forward is that we get some development with um, development, <laughs> excuse me, development with our um, my mind shut down, development with our goaltenders. Um, whether it be Jack Campbell or whether it be uh, Jared Allen. And I just kind of want to get onto here. Here we go. Last year, my current contract, 39 wins. And I expect 39 wins out of myself as well. So scout assignment. Uh, let's go. Let's see here. Let's see where people are projected. First, second round, WHL, OHL, top five. Uh, okay, defenseman, defenseman, two top five goalies there, defenseman, top five, defenseman, WHL. Let's go QM forwards, I believe it was. Forwards, uh, let's go, OH, OH, OHL forwards, six weeks. Cool. Alrighty, so let's go to coaching options. We'll go to roster moves first just to get sure, make sure everything is uh, who I want is up and whatnot. So, um, okay, let's go forwards. Yes, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, yeah, I don't need you. You're going to go to the minors. Uh, defenseman, six. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. You want, oh, I, I want to, uh. hmm, one, one, two. See, it looks like, to me, it looks like Ekblad could be ready to go. But who would I, I could put, I put Murphy down in the top two, get him, get him one more year development there. That is what I'm going to do. Swap with Ekblad there. So it is the de debut season for Aaron Ekblad. And we're, I'm going to give him tons of minutes in hopes of development there. So uh, there you see, uh, put, send him down. There we go. Allen and Campbell can battle it out. And let's go to edit lines now. Uh, yeah, I'll just do best lines for now. Okay, perfect. Um, where is Shifley? Right, I sent. I forgot. I sent Shifley down for that. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. Uh, who do I put down now? Um, you know, Gordon. I got you for. Uh, no, where's my? I love a fourth line center. Okay. Alrighty, okay. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Centers, fine. Okay, now we can go edit lines. Let's do, where are you, Shaifu? Perfect, okay, that's, that is fine. That's great right there. Exactly what I'd like. Okay, defense. Ekblad is going up here. Okay, Hamilton is a right shot. CC is a right shot. Ekblad is a right shot. Ekblad, you're getting first line time. I don't care. Oops. You and Hamilton are going to be my top pairing of the future, so you better get used to it. Um, that's fine there. Uh, that's also, oh, I want Shifley there. That's perfect. Uh, that's going to be Shifley as well. Uh, ben, Sagan, Eakin, that's fine. If this is what they think is going to be best, that's fine. I'm cool with that. And if anything, if I need to change it afterwards, I'll change it afterwards. Um, yeah, that's cool. Excellent. Fantastic. Uh, I'll put Shifley there. Fantastic. Uh, edit line, okay, I want Reinhardt top line there, Stone and Wilson can be there, that's fine. Look at that, two Richies playing side by side, well not side by side, but you know what I mean. Uh, Ryan, where's, I want Ryan Murphy playing. Uh, Yoki Paka will be scratched. Defenseman. One, two, three, four, five, six. Connaughton? Is he there? No, I call him the one not there. Sweet, okay. Uh, yep, that's good there. Uh, power play. Uh, you can go there. And this will be Murphy. This will be Murphy, I said. Uh, no, I want that to be. Um, where is he? Max Reinhardt there. 
second line center will be sure that could be Lothier actually why don't I do this because I want facts of playing too let's grab this Dowling guy scratch Peters cool okay I'm gonna put facts of there Where is Faxa? Sorry, I was quiet for a second. I was too busy looking. Faxa is here. Uh, um, there we go. Oh, yeah, I'll do that. That's fine. No, I want... Um, I'll put Faxa on... There we go. That's fine. There we go. Happy with that. Uh, this can be Faxa. This guy can be there. Wilson will be here. And this will be Savoir. Oh, Savoir's a right winger, eh? Beauty. That's even better. Perfect. Okay. Uh, power play is fine. Uh, let's get Murphy on there. Get him on the power and the penalty kill, too. Um, but he will be top line penalty kill. It's fine, fine. Yeah, yeah, that's all good. Okay. So that is all good there. What line is missing? Four and four lines. Uh, that would be echo. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. So that does the lineup there. So uh, we'll just quickly send through the preseason because that doesn't really matter at all. Let's get right up to there. So I've already done all my roster moves to making them. Um, which not to put in my players in the minors who I want to be there. So I should have my full roster now, and it is going to be now the test of whether or not you're expecting to make the playoffs, boss. Okay, that's fine. I am expecting to make the playoffs as well. If I don't, I'm gonna be very disappointed. Uh, alrighty. See how we do in the preseason. Not so good so far. Uh, one and two. But hey, it's the preseason. Who cares? Um, this might be this might be telling me I need to get a goalie. Maybe definitely. Uh, we'll find that out soon. So they want thirty nine wins and a playoff appearance. Uh, continue there. Uh, continue as we are getting ready. Uh, oh, Sagan, four points in that last preseason game. Good job, Sagan. Uh, we're gonna get into the first preseason game now. Our first regular season game now with our new look Dallas Stars. And you know what? This game I'm going to play. So we can see how this Stars team shapes up. So when you'll, the next thing you'll see is the video of me playing. So uh, enjoy. So here we are in Colorado uh, for the first game of the 2015-2016 season. And veteran Alex Tange is getting introduced right there to young Aaron Ekblad making his first NHL start later in the first. Uh, Stewart standards to DeShane who just slides it under Jake Allen's legs. Not a good goal there to give up for that goalie. Now later in the first, Puck's dumped in the corner. The Avalanche recover it. Landis Cog centers it, but it bounces around. Kane loses it, and that's right to Tange. Makes it a 2-0 game. Now into the second period now. Looking to clear the puck. Barry has a shot as block. Rebound, and that's right on the stick of Stewart. And the Avalanche are going to seal it here as Landis Cog comes streaking in from the blue line and beats Allen top corner. Okay, that first game didn't go very well at all. Uh, as you see there, 4-1 loss. Um, I kind of got fed up with it after a while, to be perfectly honest. Uh, but... Rest assured, we will try again with the home opener this time for the uh, Chicago for the for the Dallas Stars uh, with oh, two one loss. Okay, 
This time, home opener, Dallas Stars. We're trying it again. Let's go. It's a raucous house here in Dallas as Patrick Kane is getting his first glimpse of game action against his former team. And early in the period, he is getting himself reintroduced to former teammate Duncan Keith after Corey Crawford makes a save. Later in the first period now, off a face-off win, Puck is saved by Allen. And it eventually works its way around after hitting a couple skates right onto the stick of Patrick Sharp. 1-0 Blackhawks. Later into the second period now. Sharp on the wing. Missed check there. And oh, a dirty dangle between the defenders. And Patrick uh, Sharp makes no mistake there. Makes it 2-0. Later in the period. Uh, Puck is in the corner. Sharp to Taves. Taves and oh, Taves backs it in. Uh, backhands it in out of the midair but uh, the ref is looking like he's gonna blow it off let's see what the replay shows and yeah oh it's a nice display of skill but was it a high stick uh, let's take another look and it might be let's see what the referee is gonna decide on the play and it is no goal right there so Dallas survives there now, Hagelin, playing without a helmet after it was knocked off early in the shift, gets the puck from the sideboards and snaps it over Corey Crawford. Now, later in the period, later in the third, Hagelin drops it to Cody Cece, who blasts it over the top of Corey Crawford's uh, blocker there, I believe. Now, later in the third, Hosa gets, uh, survives the check somehow. He gets down to the goal line, centering over to Sharp, and that's going to be the game. That's the game winner. Sharp with a hat trick. Blackhawks win. So three frustrating losses to start the season. So that means after uh, after uh, Jared Allen got the first three starts, uh, I think it's time to give Campbell a couple starts. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Oops, yeah, I always forget about that. Very frustrating there with the uh, the Patrick Sharp goal, especially because I don't know how many times I'm supposed to check Hosa. Like, honestly, like, he just wouldn't go down. And that's super frustrating. Um, but, hey, you know what? Maybe that's maybe that's what we need to do. I, may, I might have to find another goaltender. Um, as Campbell wins the game, that's nice, nice for us. Um as we go against the oh, three inland Oilers, so they're they're young guys that started to turn it around a bit. Uh, we lose to the Oilers in regulation, so not the best start uh, for my team right now. And unfortunately, it's the it's coming at the the expense of that of that. Well, see, one nothing like how like you know can't good on Campbell to get a shutout, but with the team that I have built, we should be able to be scoring a lot more goals than we are. And now we're going on a little bit of a run. So, oh, as I see that, we're probably going to lose to the Kings, the one four and one Kings. Um, but yeah, so it's just kind of frustrating how that top line isn't doing anything. Um, I don't even remember going to the extra Liga, whatever that is. Uh, let's go WHL six weeks. And that was Campbell's second loss. So, so Campbell's got our has has our win so far, which is nice. At least one goal he's winning. Uh, let's see here. We'll give three starts to Jer uh, Jake Jake Allen. I think I said Jared Allen before, but I meant to say Jake Allen. There we go. The Coyotes were five one and one. So that's a that's a quality win right there. Uh, six and two Sharks. Another quality win there. And see, at least we're getting some scoring. Hagelin's up to five goals. Hamilton's got seven assists. So those were some good acquisitions. Um, apparently, it's going to be a good year for rookies. Uh, so we're going to play. We're just going to simulate this until the end of November and then assess where we are from there. 7-4 um, loss. See, that's the, that's the kind of thing that makes me think we need a goalie. When you get 7-4 seven four, seven to four losses. 4-2 uh, to two loss. See, every time we go on a little bit of a run and then we end up just falling back down. I don't... Uh, whatever, it's the, the ebb and flow of hockey, I guess. And the worst part is that we're getting all these losses. They're in regulation. If some of these... If we... Even maybe two, two of those losses were in uh, with a shootout or overtime, I mean, that's, you know, 
it's only three more points, but it's three, you know, it's two more points that we don't have. I mean, I'd rather have those points than not have them, of course. Especially because this year is a big year for us. We're supposed to make the, we're supposed to make the playoffs this year. This is supposed to be, um, this is supposed to be the year. Zanin um, thirty five non. Um, yeah, so that's what's the frustrating part is that we're supposed to be doing well this year. Um, see, see, like when we lose, we lose huge. I don't get it. Might have to be, might, you know what? The next video might be shopping for a goalie. Maybe Alan, maybe I need a stopgap. Uh, as I go to GM options there, maybe I need some sort of stopgap between Alan and between, uh, between Alan's ready to take over and when I actually have a. And Campbell's rated 83 right now, so I don't know. Maybe I should run with Campbell. I don't know. Lots of decisions to make here. Uh, I'm going to give him three starts since he played well last time. Let's see. Okay, we better beat the the Devils. 4-10-1. I mean, that's got to be a game we win. Thank you. Oh, it's kind of... it's, it's more fr This is more frustrating when you actually expect to win. When, you, when you're when you losing and you want to lose, that's fine. But when you expect to win... Like, why can't we beat Boston? You know, sure, we, they, sure they've lost games as well. But at least they're losing games in regulation. I mean, they're losing games in overtime, so they're picking up points. We're just not doing anything right now. Maybe Campbell's the answer. Campbell is playing... Very well right now. Give him three more starts. I'll just give him to the, you know, I'll just sim up to the end of November with Campbell. And we'll see where it's going soon. It looks like Allen's the one giving up the majority of our goals. Um, as we are going on a little bit of a, a run right now. Um, we'll take a look at some stats right after this as well. And then figure out where we're going to go from there. Maybe we need to get a goalie. We'll look at the stats and see what that dictates. But Campbell's on our tear. Uh, I don't even want to stop the simulation because he's doing so well. Man, that's good. Eight, win eight wins. He's got eight of our 12 wins, so good for Campbell. This is a key win. We need a key game, I should say. Hopefully it's a key win. Okay, at least we got a point. We got a point. So we'll take a look at the standings as we get, as we're turning over the calendar to December right now. Uh, let's see. Let's um, see. Do I count, do I, these players... Uh, they made the property, but they may have been stressed or Okay. Um, all right. So let's see. Where are we? Uh, any big trades? I'll look at trades in a second. Um, uh, we're at team standings. Okay. Where are we? We're second in our division, which is good. But our central division is stacked right now. Like There's three teams with 26 points. We are one of them. And then St. Louis and Minnesota have 25. And Chicago, for some reason, I guess, losing Kane. I don't know, maybe so I don't know. Anyways, very, very tight division, very, very tight conference in general. Uh, uh, let's see here. We have nobody in the top goals and no one in top assists. Um, points and wins. Uh, Campbell is just behind Smith. Save percentage or goals against. Yeah, nobody up there either. Uh, so let's see. Let's take a look at some of these stats now. Uh, okay, teams, player stats, season, NHL. Maybe it's the case of Ekblad too much too too soon for Ekblad. Maybe I should send him down for another year. Um, seeing as he still has CHL availability, so let's take a, well. Let's look at stats first. Kane. Okay, at least he's you know almost a point a game player. That's fine. Six goals, thirteen assists. Sagan, four goals, fourteen assists. Um, I don't know who's scoring all the goals on their line because Van Riemsdyk only has thirteen points. But Hagelin and Scheifele are playing very well, too. So some very nice, you know, my top six is doing what they're supposed to do uh, in terms of forwards. Uh, yeah, in terms of forwards, top six is doing what they're supposed to do in terms of points. Uh, ben has the most goals with follow behind. That line is getting the goals. I don't know what it is. They're getting goals. Whatever, I don't care. They're, they're, they're playing well. Uh, center defenseman, let's see here. Uh, Hamilton has 13 points. Uh, Ekblad only has 12 penalty minutes. He's a plus one, so maybe it's just maybe it's Allen. Honestly, maybe it is Allen. Uh, okay, let's go to goalies. Uh, yeah, three, four, five goals against for Jake Allen. Not very good compared to Jack Campbell's 1.90 goals against eight, two, and one. Um, save percentage. Oh man, right now it's hand, you know hands down Jack Campbell's our better goalie right now. Um, 
which is good for him. Uh, except it sucks that we have Allen now locked up very long term. But hey, he's controllable at least. So I guess that's a plus. Uh, 12th in the league. Uh, let's see here. We'll go to um, goals four per game. We're sixth with 2.76. We'd like it higher. Um, our goals against per game is probably coming down a bit now that um, what's his face that Jack Campbell's playing. Uh, power play percentage, top three in the league. What can you expect when you guys got like when you got our power play is pretty be pretty deadly. Uh, PK percentage that's terrible. Maybe that's to do with Allen being in net. Um, maybe I'll, I'll do another month with Campbell in net. Uh, see what happens with Campbell more in net than Allen getting more starts. Excuse me. Maybe that will help the PK just by you know your best your best penalty killer is your goaltender. So uh, we'll leave it off there. Um, we are, like I said, we are second in the Central Division, tied for first to be more uh, positive. We're uh, almost a third of our way there to our goal of 39 wins in the season, so we're going to keep it going there. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, come back for the next one. Uh, like, comment, subscribe for more content for some of this, for podcasts. Hopefully I'm getting some PS2, PS4 content up soon. Uh, no excuses for that. Bye.